Hey, good evening, Maximo. How are you doing, man? Sure. How are you? I'm great. Great. Just, uh, you know, waiting for everybody to join. So how was, how was your day today? My day was fine. Nice. Um, mm -hmm. I work. I worked in a new machine. Really, I had my my boss uh, bought um plant plant plantain fryer. A plantain fryer. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's that's crazy. So it's a, how, it's how does, a, how does that work? It's a, it's a big, uh, it's a big fryer. Really? So yes. hold on. So, so you mean a banana fryer? Uh, it's yes. It's it's process forty kilos. It processes forty kilos Kilo. of bananas. Uh, uh, plant plantain. Platano? Those are ban bananas. Ah, ba platano. Yeah, that's that's a banana. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what we call platano here, that's it's a banana. Even the, in Spanish, the, it's banana. Ah, okay. The project is is sold a uh, sell sell the uh, sold. sell the uh, sold the product to pollo campestre, pizza hut. Oh, okay, got it. Mm -hmm. Dennis. Wow, that's that's very interesting. So, mm -hmm. so you're selling like these things to big companies. Yes, yes. In the vision. All right. Good evening. Hey, good evening, Marina. How are you? Uh, softly. Very good. All right. Okay. How was your day today? How was work? Relax, very, very quiet and, and very uh, relaxed. Was okay. Yes. All right. Awesome. 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 Okay. What about you, Diego? How are you, man? Hello? No, hear you, Diego. Hello. Hello. Hey, man. How are you? Can you doing? hear me? Oh, okay. Yes, I want to. Sorry. <laughs> good evening. Up, Today it was a good day. It was a chill day. It was it was really cool. A normal day, but a little bit. Well, I I was a little bit angry because uh, someone asked me to do something five minutes before six. That is my my time to it's the finish of my turn. So it was a little bit stressed, but yeah, it was easy. It was a really good day. Okay. Was a good day. Yeah. All right, excellent, excellent. All right, man. That's absolutely awesome. All right. So anyways, um, all right, that's good. That's good. That's good. So, guys, welcome. Um, it's really nice having you here. Um, so let's get started. Okay, let's get started. Then, uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Okay. All right, guys. So let's go over this today and together. Right. Let's uh, continue talking about indirect requests. Right. So yesterday we we're talking about indirect requests. Right. Um, did you did you um, did you complete section four already now, guys? Yes. Uh, but no. I have I have the platform. You say the platform. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. I have some. I have some some inconvenient with some mm -hmm. exercise. Okay. Um, which uh, which ones? Uh, 
for example, in 5.5, <clears throat> the exercise number two. I consider oh. that I have the, the answer, but I don't know what happened with platform. <laughs> okay, all right, very um, good. So uh -huh. if you want, you can share your screen so we can go ahead and solve the remaining exercises from the platform together. Okay, so. and then I have another with um, a 4.4 in second part, all of the second part, and part B, the request, the last one, I think. Okay. All right, mm -hmm. so let's go over the answers together if you want. Let's solve them right now. Okay. Um, did anybody here have issues with section four, ladies and gentlemen? Or are you all good with section four? We're good? I didn't start it yet, but... Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Very good. All right. So um, there's a couple. There are a couple of things that we need to talk about in section three still, right? So so let's you know let's let's go over that. Okay. So um, let's go over the answers from section five. That is, um, well, let me share the screen and see what we got here. So there you go. So I guess you're talking about this one, right? Marina? Yes, yes, yes. We're talking about this one, okay. All right, so so, um, number, so two. It's on number two, so uh -huh. what is your answer? What is your answer? Okay, my answer, let me check right now. Give me a second. Okay. Well, everybody, what's the answer here if you have done this one already? It says unscramble the words in parentheses. So one thing I would be excited by, and it says is local the trying food. Okay, I, I was I was uh, resolved this this way. The thing uh -huh. the thing I would be most curious curious about, but it's not correct. <laughs> Okay, so the thing oh, number two. The thing I would be the most curious about, about. is meeting people my age. Okay. Well that is correct. The thing I would be the most curi curious about. It's correct. It's the right that I have? I, I just I, I think no, you don't have the same. You might have something more different. The thing I would be the most the most what the most curious the most curious the most curious about curious about curious is period period at the end no no period at the end no okay 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 no let me check now did it work for you yes if I have the same like you. No, did it work? Did it work now? No. Do me a favor. Just send me uh, send me your answer in the chat, okay? Uh, What's up? No, here. Okay. Yeah. Let so if, if, if maybe you have an extra space or something, if you have an extra could space, be, could be. it won't work. Could be, could be. Okay. Maybe I was writing words. I don't know. Give me a second, please. Okay.
Be? Thing I would be. I'm here. The most curious about. Most curious about. All right. Maybe you have an extra space there because that is the right answer. Okay. So okay. Type it in again because that is that is the answer that I got. Uh, so I would only guess that you have an extra space there or something. Because that is the right answer. I'm going. I'm going to try uh, tomorrow. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, oh, so you don't have the platform right now? Yes. Yes, I have my cell phone the platform. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. The other one I have for. Right? Okay. Very good. And then the answer, guys, for then the answer for number one would be, you know, is trying the local food. With right. period. period, right? Mm -hmm. And then the other one is something. Uh, imagine something I would be something about is. I would exactly imagine in this case, I I wrote, I write with L, right? But in this case, the case, platform case, actually, not not case case case. Okay, in this case, the platform get with E with A. Imagine it's very confused. This platform, okay, but yeah, that's 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 weird, but I don't see mm -hmm. that here, mm -hmm. anyways. All right, so I hope that answered your questions. Okay, any anybody else, guys, do you need uh, help with the platform from the, the, the sections that we have not covered in class? Or are we good? We're good, all right, so let's continue. All right, let's continue, guys, okay. All right, okay, okay. so so we were talking yesterday about, you know, indirect requests, right? And we were saying, you know, we were talking about statements, right? But there are some other things that we can transform into questions, correct? So, um, so what if we wanted to do something that is not a statement? What would we do then? You know, if it's something, if something is not a statement, um, what could we do? For example, um, what are the things do we, do we have, you know, instead of statements? I don't know, maybe ideas or plans? All right. Let's go with um. Let's think about your mom or your or your dad. When you were kids, guys. When you were children. Maybe nowadays. I don't know. <laughs> right. But uh, would your mother tell you like, "Hey, uh, Marina, could you please, uh, could you please clean the kitchen?" Would you say something like that, Marina? um she's a mute but yeah okay really so so your mother maximum maybe maybe you right so would your mother say something like hey could you please mop the floor could you please sweep the floor could you please do your bed would your mom say something like that yes really wow those were very polite moms because mine would say, clean the bedroom, clean your bedroom, you know, mop the floor, sweep the floor. My mom wouldn't say, please, could you please, you know, <laughs> that's, that's great, guys. If your mom did that, that is, you gotta, you know. That's, My wife that's mom. said me. Your, your mom, your, your, your wife, what? Said me. You said me, no. Well, uh -huh, what do you mean? Said. No, that's you cannot say "said me." That doesn't exist. It's, um, uh, uh, say, uh, says, 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 says me. to me. Uh huh. To me. Uh huh. 
Yes. My mom says to me, okay. Okay, no. What I'm asking you guys is that I don't think, guys, that moms from our generation, right, at least, uh, would be so polite when telling us to clean our, you know, to do our chores, right? They would give us orders, right? My mom would give me orders, not, not, not like, you know, not, not requests, right? Hey, mm -hmm. David, could you please mop the floor, right? This is the third time that I told you, but could you please do it? <laughs> really, guys? Was your mom like that? Was your mom really like that, that nice with you? Even, even, even when you, when you were a little bit rebellious? Or would she give you orders? All time is order. Order. Right? It's orders. orders, right? Now maybe yeah. it's your wife, right? But but they would give us orders, okay? Almost so, is the same. Yeah, almost the same. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, you know. Um so they gave us orders, okay? Now if they gave us orders, that's what we call imperatives, okay? How do we call them? Okay, imperatives. Okay, so we call them imperatives, all right? So like this. Okay, we call them imperatives. Okay. So now with imperatives, Imperatives are orders, okay? And there's a big difference here. Um, why? Because the statement is, you know, uh, she, right, statement, right? She likes eating burgers, right? Hey, could you please ask her if she likes eating burgers, right? So here, guys, we're going to use if, right? If she likes eating burgers, right? We're gonna start with, you know, could you ask her, right? Or tell her, could you ask her? And then if, right, et cetera. Now, well, what if it is a statement? What would be an imperative then? Well, what would be an imperative? You know what an imperative is, right? Remember, right? Think about your mom. Cleaner the room. Clean the room. Very good. Okay, so we got to clean the room. Very good. Clean the room. Mm -hmm. Mother bunker, right? No. Clean the room, right? <laughs> don't, clean the room. Don't, don't be late. Oh, I like that because we're going to use, okay, don't be late. Okay, don't be late. All right? See? Yeah, that's what your mom would say, right? What else? Turn down the volume. Turn down the volume, right? Very good. I, I love it, guys, how we're not saying please, right? Oh, could you please turn down the volume? <laughs> right? What else? Les pregunté si su mamá les decía que por favor hicieran las cosas, right? Todo me mintieron. Right? So tell me, what else? Hmm. A negative, negative. Turn off of the TV. Turn off the TV, right? Uh, yeah. Don't go to that party. Okay, all right. Don't go to that that party. All right. Don't, wanna... mm -hmm. Fisher, don't, don't touch anything. Don't touch anything mm -hmm. and remember guys it's teacher repeat teacher 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 teacher, teacher. teacher. all right teacher 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 because guys sometimes you call me camiseta hey camisetas right i'm not camisetas guys, right? i'm not el camisetas <laughs> every time you call me teacher, teacher. right teacher. You're, you're calling me camiseta right okay so, cada vez que me digas teacher te voy a decir camiseta okay <laughs> I'm 
Don't, 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 teacher. don't get up teacher. late. Teacher. Hi, teacher, teacher, right? Teacher. Teacher, teacher, teacher. right? Okay. Very good. Teacher. Yes, teacher, not t-shirt, because t-shirt, guys, is camiseta, and also, you know, we don't say shusha, right? Hey, mira, shusha. Okay. Say chucho, right? Sorry, teacher. Very good. Right? Teacher. Teacher. There you go. Teacher. There you go. All right. Okay. What else? Okay. Hey, don't call me. Again. <laughs> don't call me t-shirt. Right. What else, guys? Don't get up late. Don't. Okay. Don't get up late. Right. Very good. What else? Something that maybe Latino mothers or Salvadorian mothers would do would be like, "Make uh, you homework." Hold on, stop, stop asking, uh, stop asking for toys. <laughs> you know, stop. Yeah, stop. Yeah, stop asking for toys or, or stop asking for for candies, right? Whatever. <laughs> what What is the the other one? Make the homework. Okay, make we're good. Do, not make. Do your homework. Do you make homework? Guys, do is not the same as make. I can make homework for you. And you can do your homework, right? Making is creating. Mm -hmm. Are you going to create homework? No. No, right? You don't create homework. When you, do, when you say make homework, it's like saying crea. That's la tarea, right? Do you make homework? Do I make homework? No, sometimes, but not not here. Not 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 for English cooperativo. No. Um. Okay. So okay. So very good. All right. So we got we got a couple of examples here. Okay. Now I want you to try this yourself first, and then uh, we're gonna we're gonna explain it, right? So for statements, guys, we're usually gonna use if. Okay. Now I want you to. Try to ask a question with could, okay? Could or, or can, right? And then do the rest. But I'm not going to tell you what to do right now, okay? No le voy a decir cómo transformar esto en, 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 en direct requests because I want you to try it first. Primero lo quiero, quiero que intenten ustedes, después yo les explico. Okay? So you're going to try it first, and then I'll explain it to you, okay? So uh, okay. let's try to transform all of these imperatives into indirect requests guys okay let's okay. go ladies and gentlemen
All right, guys. So whoever is ready first, let me know, okay? You guys let me know. Teacher, tell me. A uh, one question. Tell me, tell me, a, tell me. In all imperative, we need to use gold. We cool, cool, could, could, cool, not, not cool. cool, could, cool, cool, yeah. You can use could, yes, you can. Only, only cool. Yes. All right. Thank you. I think I uh, I already finished. Okay. All right. Let's wait for everybody else. And then we're going to yeah. get the answers. Okay. Okay.
All right, guys. So time's up. All right. So I'm going to start asking everyone. So Diego, what what do you have for the first one? Sorry, I was fighting with a mosquito. <laughs> for the first one, uh, could you tell Maximo to clean the room? Very good. So could you tell Maximo, Maximo to clean the room? Okay. To clean the room. Okay. Very good. I want you. I want you to start noticing, guys, because this is the whole point behind doing this exercise. Okay. I'm gonna complete this one, which says, which is the which is the um, the statement, right? Could you ask her, right? Could you ask her if she you know she likes? Sorry, hold on. She likes eating burgers, right? All right, very good. Could you tell Maximo to clean the room, right? Okay, that is perfect, brother. Perfect. Okay, I got it. Thank you. All right, Julio Cesar, what do you have for turn down the volume? Could you turn down the volume? Okay, could you turn down the volume, right? Now, remember that we're making a request to somebody else, right? So yeah, this is correct, but this is not a request to somebody else. Like the, the first example, right, is asking, um, it's actually a nice example, right? But in this case, we need to make a request. We need to ask somebody to make a request to somebody else, okay? So, necesito, básicamente okay. los ejercicios, okay? Son que yo le digo a alguien que le diga a alguien más algo, okay? So, I'm, I'm telling, I'm asking someone or I'm telling someone to tell somebody else something, okay? So, so in this case, um, let's see, uh, number two. Thank you, Julio. Uh, Maximo, what do you have for number two? Could you ask her? Could don't you be late. Good. Could you ask her? Her? Uh -huh. Don't be late. Could you ask her? Don't be late. Okay. All right. Very good, very good, okay? This is incorrect, but we're gonna see why later, okay? Don't worry. So, could you ask her, don't be late, okay? Very good. Sí, por eso estamos aprendiendo, guys, porque si lo decimos así, está incorrecto, right? There is a way of saying this, so don't worry. Okay, uh, thank you, Maximo. Morena, okay. what do we have, Morena? Or turn down the volume. Tell us. Only could you turn, could you turn the volume, please? Could could you turn down now? Remember, it's a request that we are as okay. it's a request for somebody else. Uh -huh. We're asking somebody to ask okay. something to someone else. Teacher, teacher, uh -huh. tell me, tell me. Uh, okay. I think the correct is, could you ask her? Uh huh. Hold on, Dustin. hold on, hold on. Hold she on, doesn't me, be late. Give me, guys, do my favor. Try to finish this and let me know. Um, give me one minute, okay? Okay. Okay. She doesn't be
I don't know if someone has doubts with this exercise. I don't know. Maybe we can practice at this moment. And so, in what is the correct form that I that my example turn down the value? Uh, could, oh, remember. Could Diego tell? Uh, could Diego tell turn down the value? Please, I don't know. I Kinda, have to say the subject, right? Yeah, but remember, this is an indirect question. Well, well uh, indirect request. Uh -huh. So we need to ask someone else uh -huh. to tell to tell or ask something to someone uh -huh. else. So is you can say, uh -huh. for example, uh, look at my example. Could you tell Maximo to clean the room? Okay, so some back, guys. Okay, some back. Okay, right, teacher. So let's let's continue. Teacher. Tell me, tell me. See, uh, I think the correct. Mm -hmm statement is could you ask her she doesn't be late or could you ask her doesn't be late okay no it's still not correct but don't worry okay we're gonna figure it out all right and then so the could you tell for example could you tell maximo turn down the, the volume okay to tell maximo turn down the volume okay all right, that's okay, very good. That is incorrect, but we're good, we're good, you know? I want you to make me sick so we can learn, all right? Okay, okay. Uh, what about uh, turn off the TV? Let's see, Sylvia, what do you have for turn off the TV? Um, could you ask him if he can turn off the TV? Okay. <coughs> Could you ask him to uh, what? If he can, he can turn, turn off. off the TV. Okay, turn off the TV. Now, this is not incorrect grammatically, but this is like a request, right? Um, it's not. Mm -hmm. It's not incorrect, but it's also not <laughs> the way we would say. But it's okay. It's right. Don't go to that party, right? So what do we have for don't go to that party, Diego? Uh, could you tell Diego to not go to the party? Okay, could you tell Diego to not go, go to, to the, party. the party, okay? This is also incorrect, but we're going to see why later. Okay. No worries, okay? Don't touch anything. Um, Maximo, what do we have for don't, don't touch anything? Could you ask um, Julio? Could, not cool, could. Could, could. Yes. Could, yes. could, could you ask Julio? Uh -huh. Could you ask Julio? Don't, don't touch anything. Don't touch anything, okay. All right, very good. I know Julio doesn't. Okay, doesn't, okay. All right, so I think, I think guys, okay, we are getting to a point where all the answers are going to look the same, okay? So I'm going to explain to you what's wrong here, okay? So in the first example, when we were, we were talking about statements, we were using if. Could you ask her if she likes eating burgers, right? Now, this example is correct. Could you tell Maximo to clean the room? So instead of if, we're going to use... Two. Two, okay. So take a look at this, right? We're using two, and then we're using this example right here, right? Now, could you ask her? He doesn't. Okay, let's correct this. So we said that we we're going to use two, right? So let's go with, let's, let's do this again, right? First of all, could you tell her, right? Because... Mm -hmm. You can say ask, but the ask is even more polite. I don't want you to ask. I want you to to be your mom, right? You got to be like your mom. Could you tell her? And then, guys, this is a negative. For a negative, we're going to use not first, okay? Not to. Not to, oh. right? Not to be late. late. Could you tell mm -hmm. her not to be late? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's how we do it, okay? To you tell her not to be late, okay? For turn down the volume. 
right? What do you think we should do for mm -hmm. turn down the volume? Let's follow the same, you know, the same uh, examples. Between Maximo and Torn, we need to add two. Okay, could, could you could you what? Let's see, Morena, hold uh, on, Morena, Morena. I think you know the answer for this already, Diego, but let me hear Morena, okay? Okay. Morena? Okay, okay. Could you, could you, follow, follow the same structure that we uh -huh. have in these examples. Could you tell, could uh -huh. you tell, could you tell, um, say the name? Yeah. Okay, could you say Diego? Mm -hmm. If. Mm -mm. No. We're going to use two. Uh, Diego, two. Mm -hmm. Tor uh, turn down the volume. To turn down the volume, right? Yeah. Very good. Could you tell Diego to turn down the volume, right? Okay, okay. Right, and you can even say here, could you ask Diego, right? Could you ask Diego to turn out? But here we're gonna give an order, right? Could you tell Diego, could you order Diego? We can even say order, you know? Could you order, right? Diego to turn down the volume, right? Okay, okay. Very good, well done, very well done, okay? So guys, I want everybody now to complete the rest, okay? The rest that we did not complete, okay? But let's go with turn off the TV, right? Let's see, Maximo, how would we say this? Turn off the TV, now that we know how to say this. How would you say? Maximo? Yes, yes. Yeah, so turn off the TV, right? How do we really transform that? Could you ask? Could, not could. Could, 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 mm -hmm. could. Could you ask? Could you ask him, him mm -hmm. to turn off the TV? Awesome. Could you ask him to turn off the TV? Very good. Please. All right, you can say please, right? But we're giving orders here. Okay. Right? And this is would be tell him, right? Because we're giving orders. But that's you can say ask, it's fine. It's fine, right? But if you want to sound like we're giving an order. We say tell, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, very good. Don't go to that party. Let's see. Uh, Julio Cesar. Okay. Cool. Good. Cool. Mm -hmm. Could you? Could you? Ask, ask, ask. Okay. Diego, could you ask Diego, huh? Not, not to, very good. Not to go to the party. Not to go to the party. Okay, very good. Good job. Okay, so now that you understand, guys, I want you to complete the rest. Okay, I want you to complete the ones that you have here. Okay, so you're gonna complete uh, these ones right here. All right. Don't touch anything. Don't call me T-shirt. Don't get out late. Stop calling me for candies. Stop asking for candies and do your homework, okay?
All right, so let's hear your answer, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so let's start. I'm gonna ask everyone, all right? So Diego, what do you, what do you have for the don't touch anything? Could you tell him not to touch anything? Beautiful job, right? Could you tell him not to touch anything? Beautiful, all right. Um, let's see. Let's see uh, who's next, Maximo. What do you have for don't call me t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Maximo, what do you have there? Maximo? I think he's muted. Um, Hi. Go. Oh, Maximo, there you go. Uh -huh. Could you tell her not to call? Good. T shirt. Okay, not not to call who? Call is a, is a transitive verb. Okay, got mm -hmm. it, Marina. No worries. Um, so so that would be could you, right? Could you? Mm -hmm. Could you? Tell. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Tell, right? Tell her, right? Not to call him right not to call me right not to call him or call me if you're talking about me you have to say him right okay you're talking not to about call him not to call him t-shirt exactly very good good job perfect don't get up late um what do we have here julio caesar this uh call you tell him no to get up late could you tell him not to get up late? Get up, okay. get up late. Very good. Good job. Perfect. Um, Morena, what do we have for stop asking for candies? Oh, I think he has. She has this. You can you can type it in, yeah. uh, Morena. All right, and then Sylvia, what do you have for do your homework? Could you tell child not to ask him for candies? Could you tell your children or the children, right? The children mm -hmm. not to ask for candies. Yes. Okay, beautiful job. Okay. All right, so Morena, I'm just waiting for yours. And who, but who wants to give me this one, guys? Stop I can't. asking for candies. Go ahead. Uh, could you tell your son to stop asking for candies? Could you tell your son to stop, to stop right? asking to for stop candies? Stop asking for stop. candies. Good job. All right. Beautiful job, guys. Okay. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. So, um, so what do you think, guys? Okay. Did we learn how to make requests with imperatives now? How to make formal in, um how to make requests to another person um, yes. with imperatives. Very interesting, yes. right? That's yeah. something, guys, that's something that yes. um, we get confused with a lot, right? It happens if you don't learn this, okay, you would say, could you ask him to don't? I heard people say to don't, right? We cannot say mm -hmm. to don't, okay? So very good job. So for statements, we can use if. For imperatives, we can use two. Okay, sounds good. Yes. So, ladies and I gentlemen, have, I have tomorrow, one question. Tell me, tell me, please. You can use them when you have at the work, when you have other co-workers. Uh, give me an example. For example, uh, would you? Make the new installation is electrical installing for, for example. Could you make the? You can say yes. That is a that is a direct request, right? The thing is that okay. Eso es lo que pasa. Si yo estoy hablando de indirecto, quiero decir que le voy a pedir a una persona que le diga a otra persona. Yo no voy a hacer 
yo no voy a ser el que pregunta directamente. ¿Ok? Si yo pregunto okay. directamente es, could you do your homework? Right? Eso es directo. Right? Mm -hmm. Pero si es algo indirecto, puedes decirle que haga la tarea. To a third person. Got it? Okay. So, okay. yeah, you can use your example and you can add a third person and that would be, you know, how do you do that, right? El motivo okay. por el que estamos hablando de una tercera, de una tercera persona, ya en sí, es porque ya sabemos cómo hacer preguntas directas, right? Pero qué tal si quieres hacerle un request a alguien para que le diga a alguien más. Right, how do you do that? And this is how we do it, do it okay? Okay, thank right. you. Excellent question, thank you. Right, anything okay. else, guys? We're good? All yeah, right, we're good. So, so guys, um, tomorrow, right? Tomorrow is Thursday. Um, we're gonna close the week tomorrow, right? And then we're gonna have our last week, this upcoming week okay so if you have any questions guys let me know thank you very much enjoy the rest of your evening okay. and have a good night bye bye guys thank you teacher good night yeah good night